So um, let's see if copper and its common ion are, or its plus one ion, we'll say, are uh, paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Uh, paramagnetic means affected by the external <coughs> magnetic field. Okay? So how do we do that? Let's write copper. So copper is Cu. The next thing I want you to do is write the electron configuration or the partial electron configuration of copper. So when we look at copper, we say, well, argon is the uh, noble gas with four. And then we've got the 4s2 electrons. But with copper, right, it's 4s2. Uh, 3d9, so that 9 is almost 10, so what's it going to do? It's going to promote that electron to there. Everybody's okay with that, right? So, now let's write the partial orbital diagram for this. Okay, so, if you want to, you can help me out, but if you don't, that's cool too. How about tell me if this is correct? Okay, correct, right? Okay, so, if we were looking at the, so this is for copper, right? Let's look at the copper plus one ion. Oh, let's talk about this one really quick. Will this be affected by a magnetic field? Yeah. Yeah, right? Why? Unpaired electron. One unpaired electron, right? So we say this is paramagnetic. Okay. Now let's look at the copper plus one ion. So where <coughs> is that electron going to be removed from? Bless you. The 4s. Right? So, no electron there. Okay. So, does this have any unpaired electrons? No. So, would it be affected by an external magnetic field? <coughs> no. So we call this diamagnetic. Okay? So I hope this um, <coughs> emphasizes what we're talking about here. Is everybody okay with what's going on? Got unpaired, you're going to be paramagnetic, you don't, diamagnetic. Okay? Any questions on this stuff? Does that only work for the works for anything with an unpaired electron. So if, for example, I said, um, does sodium have unpaired electrons? Yeah. Yeah, one. So is it paramagnetic or diamagnetic? <coughs> paramagnetic. Okay. Are we cool with that? Yep. Okay.